Hey guys, it's Skill Fight 10 here. There's that generic intro again. Welcome to Assassin's Creed 3. It's not actually the third game, it's um, the fifth game, I think. But nobody knows that because they don't put numbers on the end of the games anymore. So, yeah, hello, welcome, and um, please make yourself comfortable. There's some leftovers in the fridge if you're hungry. Uh, nothing to drink, though. You have to have tap water. So, welcome to Assassin's Creed 3, a playthrough that I'll be doing on this channel. And I've challenged myself to finish this and upload it all before Black Flag comes out. Even though I probably won't be playing Black Flag, but still, it's just a little challenge. It'll never happen. But I'm playing this now because I bought it way, way back. And I probably should have played it, but I never played it. So this is actually going to be a blind playthrough, which is extravagant. Because those don't happen often around here. But I started the game a few seconds ago, tested it out, see if it was working fine. It was working fine. It there might be a few frame issues, that maybe there's some sort of really action-packed scenes, but I don't know. Seemed fine for the most part. I'm just going to jump right into this. Desmond? No. This save is going to be called, um... Cheeky Clint. There we go. Used to be when people talked about the Cut the scene? We them up. Straight away. We laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization the ones who came before. A precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name, is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Crikey. Oh, road trip. Jesus, it's very bright today, isn't it? I can't actually move the camera. Oh, well, <laughs> it's quick. Short drive. It's fine. I don't know what is going on here. Who are you, people again? Sorry, it's been a while. We're here. Oh my god. <laughs> that man looks rather familiar. Where have I seen him before? Oh well. Why are we in a cave? Is this Skyrim? Is that Adam Sandler? 
What the fuck? Let's go. Yeah, it's those generic crates that you always see at rock gigs. Oh, I've got a glow stick. I am for some reason really like ready to fight. Look at my stance. Jesus, that sensitivity is high, isn't it? Hang on, I might need to turn... Oh, I can't pause the game. Anyway, yeah, so I've heard... Well, I'm... first of all, let me say, I think it's going to be a pretty dialogue-driven intro, so be weary of that. Also, I've heard that this game is pretty bad <laughs> compared to the others. And the scale of the story they've put it on kind of makes it look like it. Where on earth are we going? This glow stick is crap. Oh, there's graffiti down here. Hello? Do I need to use my aw awesome vision to get through? I bet I do. Or the apple, okay. Nom nom. Granny Smith apples. I don't just look around, just put it in the hole. What are you doing? Why are you waiting? There you go. Very convenient that we just happen to be here as well. In another moment, down went Alice after it. Never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. You're trying to be fucking smart, little nerdy man that I've forgotten whose name or what name you have. Why did I say that so weirdly? I don't know. I need to turn the volume down there. If I can find it, that would help. Hang on. Which one's which? That's the voice, that's the volume. Oh, fuck it. I'll just leave it as it is. Why do you all get boxes? What am I supposed to do if I meet someone who's really angry and wants a box? He'll take it out on me. Oh, what is this crap? Is this the tutorial stage where it's just move forward, see cutscene, stop cutscene, move forward, see another cutscene? This is it. This is it's explaining the core gameplay mechanic: is hold up the apple and put the apple in circular apple-shaped holes. See, I've seen that man before. Oh, jeez. My glow stick. Pick it up, Desmond. Pick up the glow stick. Come on. There's no buttons. There's no, like, buttons on screen to tell you what to do. Those were really useful last time. There's no sprint feature right now, I guess. What, do they not... Are you serious? Box people. Come on. We need those boxes down here ASAP. I'm exploring this dark, dangerous cave... I'm kind of scared, actually, because later on the frame rate might just die. Oh, come on, jump, Desmond. Jump, you're an assassin. You can make it up a tiny step. Your frame rate might just die if there's, like, lots and lots of people in, like, a civil war. <gasps> Lego. Space Age. Put the boxes down for crying out loud. We don't actually need those boxes. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Is it like a Rubik's Cube? Some Rubik's Cube from hell. It's even harder than actual Rubik's Cubes. Or is it the light switch? It just fell off. Jeez. What's of all the bloom in this game? What is it? Fucking Assassin's Creed. No, wait. What a great joke. No, it, Mirror's Edge was what I meant to say. A triangle. It's a clue. Or not. God. <laughs> Fuck's sake. The key. You must find the key. Son? Hello, pirate man. Here we go again. Book of DeWitt and Adam Sandler mixed. What on earth? Jesus! Do you hear us? You're trying to blind me. Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you, and I didn't want to risk severing the connection. 
At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Is that a god or a Pokemon? I can't quite remember. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. Oh, good. The money isn't right. sterling. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Walk? Okay. Pleasant Sunday stroll. Oh, there's a fast walk now. 